There are a few of the cam lock, uh, the small version that will go on to the palm control vise um, uh, finished up. Uh, so this one is the cam lock just bolted directly onto the uh, palm control vise. So in this case, um, someone that already has a palm control vise can remove their jaws and uh, slide this cam lock into the existing T-slot there. Uh, and they end up being three three heights. So that ends up being the highest. Uh, and here is a, a lower version. And you can see the T-slot is missing from it compared to this one. Uh, so uh, it ends up being lower. And then this one's cut down even further, uh, lower yet. Now there's pros and cons about um, taking the vices down too low uh, or too high. So one is uh, you get them down too low, um, and there's a place where um, you you don't have a concentric place down here to turn the vise with. So with this low version, you're going to be up here uh, turning the, spinning the vise up here, which is usually fine for jewelers of what they're doing. But if you're engraving, you're going to have to stop and start to, to get another grip because it's a bit of an obstacle course up on top on, on, any, on any vise. But having a nice concentric place, you can get down here to some degree and spin it. Um, Whereas this has um, uh, more of a, uh, a space to concentrically have your hand down here to spin the vise. So what I generally do, I, I'll turn the vise as far as I can go, and then I start to walk my fingers um, when I'm engraving, and the same thing the other direction. Um, and so for, for this one, there's even more room for doing that. But obviously, the disadvantage of going high is that it's high and it's going to take be up higher off your bench um, so these square jaws um, there's bolt holes at both ends at the back end and on the faces that we can screw these jaws into or these plates So for instance, here, I'll screw it in to the back of the jaws. And you could be putting it on the front faces too. And to do it on the front faces, you generally remove the jaws so you can get your wrench in there. Um, so, so those are those plates in there, and we've got square plates that you could put in here if you want to just hold something bigger, or obviously if you just wanted tall jaws, it'll 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 go on the front. Um, so with this configuration, we can uh, put some bolts in here. And then we've got some long centers that would go here. Now you could put these plates on the front, on the front faces, and in that case, you would. Uh, we've got these shorter ones that you'd want to put put in there uh, because obviously the long ones wouldn't fit at that point. And then. Um, uh, this is the Cosmos Collet. And obviously, we can get that zoomed in. Um, one size fits fits many. Um, it expands and contracts a lot here. So, in that case here, I'll uh, set a ring in there. Um, you can, um, um, this, this grip's pretty tight right now 
to, to try to grab it and spin it. And so we've got, um, you can put these nylon washers on either side in here and it makes it um, more convenient so that, you know, uh, you can adjust the, the tension of how tight you want it to be and still be able to spin it. Um, let's see. So there's, on the palm control vise, there's a, there's a brake. So I'll back that up on here. And uh, like I say, the jaws, the jaws um, are removable and uh, and reversible. Let's see. And the right wrench. And so you can flip them around. Um, and they're threaded at either end. And we've got pinholes in the top. And there's two um, uh, sizes of threads. One's quarter 20. And the other fits um, these, um, like the, your uh, multi-coin holder um, jaws.